So in this video we're going to be going through some binomial expansion questions, a question that occurs in every uh, exam and I would recommend watching the exam hack uh, video on this where I go through the different types of questions, what they tend to ask in the exams, but in this video we're just solely going to go through some past paper questions, some questions that are extracted from the worksheet which I made. So I'll put the link in the description for that other video, but let's just go right into this and do some binomial expansion questions. So we uh, see in this first question that we are to find the term independent of x in the expansion of this. So let's just write out our, what we have. And you know this is, so this is the important equation which is on your formula sheet. So this is your a and this is your b. So it wants us to know like what term will we get when our a times our b, the x's will completely cancel out. Well, if you think about it, that's going to be when you get an a squared here. So your n is 8. You're going to, when you get an a squared, because you're going to get an a, a x cubed squared, which is x6 times a b6. And that you can see that's going to occur. That's going to occur when you get 8, 6 here because your a is going to be um, 8 minus 6, which is, so your a minus 6, and then your b is going to be 6, which will be, well, just this. And you can see that when we plug that in here, the x's will cancel. You get a 4x cubed squared, and a b, which is 1 over 2x to the 6. So you're going to get an x cubed here, and a, I mean x to the 6 here, and an x to the 6 here. So on the top there's going to be an x to the 6, and on the bottom there's going to be an x to the 6. That means that they're going to cancel and you're going to have a term independent of x. So what you do is you grab your trusty calculator, and you plug in this, which is 8 combination 6 times 4 squared divided by 2 to the power of 6 gives you 7 so you know you're gonna get if you plug all that in you get 28 times 4 you know this part will be 4 you get a 4 squared and then x cubed I mean x cubed to the 6 divided by you know that's that top part and then you're gonna get I'm just writing it all out, 2 to the 6, and then x to the 6 as well. So these are going to cancel. Oh, that's not to the 6. So basically that is going to become, if you plug all these numbers in, you get a 7, and then you're going to have this x6 over x6, which is just 1. So your answer is, your answer is this term, which is 7. So the term independent of x is 7. Hope that made sense. Let's do this one and it says that so we have this again so 1 minus 2x over a and a plus x to the power of 5 where a is a non-zero constant show that the coefficient of x squared is 0. So all we have to do is find our coefficient of x squared and you know, remember that we have this n1a to the n minus 1b plus n2a to the n minus 1b squared plus dot dot dot. I don't always recommend writing this out because this is really helpful because this is your binomial expansion. So, what terms are going to um, combine to give us? x squared because we're going to get some times in here. So, first I would recommend let's just look at this a plus x to the 5. Well, you're going to get an a squared, I mean an a to the 5 from this equation, plus a 5, 1, a to the 5 minus 1, which is 4, and then b, which is x, um, and then plus 5, 2, a to the 3, x squared. So that's a 5 plus 5, a 4, x plus 10, 
I'm pretty sure that's 10, 5, C, 2, yep, 10 A cubed X squared. And the reason I do that is because, you know, well, and then you plus dot dot dot. If we then think about this, this is times, if we expand all that out, A5 plus 5, A4X plus this stuff plus a bunch more, but I don't need that bunch more because I only need to think about what things are gonna to contribute to the x squared. So what we're gonna get is we're gonna, when we times this in, we're gonna get a one times this is gonna to contribute to the x squared. And also you're gonna get plus the minus two x over a times this x part, which is five a four x. So you're going to get here a 10, 10 a cubed x squared, and you're going to get that minus or plus this thing, which is we get minus 2x times this is, so the a will cancel, so you'll get a 3 here. And you get a minus 2 here, 10 a cubed x squared. And you can see that, well, you get a 10a cubed x squared minus a 10a cubed x squared, which equals zero. So we showed that the coefficient of x squared is zero. Therefore, co, co, oh, coefficient of x squared is zero. Let's keep going. Find the coefficient of one over x in the expansion of this bad boy. So let's write that out first of all. And then let's write out what we know, which is this binomial expansion formula. Uh, a to the n minus 1, b plus a to the a2 n minus 2, b squared plus da 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 da. So if you want to find the, and I always recommend writing this out because it allows you to see what you have. Um, and if you want to find the a coefficient of 1 over x here, well, you need to find what, at uh, what, you know, expansion here, what one of these where we times the a and the b part together will give us a 1 over x. Well, I can see that's when we're going to get. A, a cubed because our a is x and our b is you know two minus two over x and a b squared so this is the five two term oh no my bad it will be when a squared b cubed because so this is the five three a squared b cubed and the reason that that is is because I can see that we're going to get an x squared on the top and an x cubed on the bottom which means that we'll get a cancellation of an x squared on the top and bottom will get will leave us with a 1 over x you'll see what I mean and that's how I know that this is the um, coefficient of 1 over x so a is x squared and b is minus 2 over x cubed. So you're going to get x cubed on the bottom, x squared on the top, and they're going to cancel out. And then you can find the rest of this. So you type in 5c3 times negative 2 to the power of 3 gives you negative 80. So you get negative 80x squared on the top over x cubed on the bottom, which gives you uh, negative 80 times 1 over x. So the coefficient of 1 over x is negative 80 in the expansion of this. Cool. Now let's do a couple questions from this other style. So in the expansion of x plus 2k to the power of 7, where k is a non-zero constant, the coefficients of x4 and x5 are equal find the value of k. Well, the first step would to be, let's find the coefficients of x4 and x5 and then set them equal to each other. Well, what do we know? Again, this. It's good to have the same procedure for the same style of question. The procedure is we write out what we know and that's this binomial formula. Because that means that when you sit in the exam and you 
have done this style of question the same sort you've done it this with the same procedure every time when you sit in the exam you're going to be very calm and collected so when you see the binomial expansion uh, expansion question you know exactly what to do so we'll run and write this out a n minus one b plus n two a n minus two b squared plus da 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 it's usually sufficient just to write the first three terms so let's have a look well what's let's write this out first x plus 2k to the 7 well what's that coefficient of x4 well that's going to be when our a is to the 4 so what is that so that's when our a is to the 4 that's when our n so we're going to have a 7 minus so the difference when the difference of the 7 and 3 is 4 so you're going to get an a to the 4 which is x4 and then a b cubed so that's a 2k cubed and that equals 7c3 times 2 to the power of 3 is um, 280 so this is 280k cubed for the uh, coefficient of x4 and let's do x5 well, the x5 is going to be for 7 when we want, when we have this, the a term, at 5. So it's going to be x to the power of 5 times 2k squared, which equals, put it in your calculator, man, times 2 to the power of 2 is 84k squared. 84k squared x5. And it says that these are actually, so this... And this, the coefficient of x4 and x5, are equal to each other. So why not set them equal to each other? And then we can find k. Divide by k squared on both sides. We get 280k equals 84. So we get k equals... Do -do 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 -do. 0 0.3. Cool. And then the last one we're going to do is this. So find the first three terms in ascending powers of this expansion. So i is 1 plus x to the 5. And remember, we know a plus b n equals a n plus n1, a n minus 1, b. It might get repetitive, but you know, it's better to be a little boring in the short term and strict with yourself so that you can get an amazing grade. I mean, that's, a, that's exactly what we're doing here. We're trying to get an amazing grade. That's what we're doing. So, okay, so let's write out the first three terms. Well, A is our one, so we get one to the five plus uh, 5, 1, 1 to the 4, x, plus 5, 2, 1 to the 3, x squared. Simplify that, we get 1 plus 5x plus 10x squared. So that's that. And then it says the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of this. So 1 plus px plus x squared, the 5. The coefficient of x squared in that is 95. Use your answer to part i to find the value of the positive constant p. Well, you can even see that they've bracketed this in terms. So let's say if we made u, so another um, variable, equal to px plus x squared. Then we could see that we get 1 plus u to the 5, which is of the same form as this. So we could write that that equals 1 plus 5u plus 10 um, 10 u squared <clears throat> and our u is this so it saves us having to do all of that jargon so we can do 1 plus 5 u is px plus x squared plus 10 px plus x squared squared so we get 1 plus 5 keep that like that plus 10 and this is we get p x squared times plus 2px 
cubed plus x4. Not that that actually matters because we're only interested in the x squared term. So we want the coefficient of x squared in this. Well, we're going to have here the only two terms that contribute to give this x squared is the 5 times the x squared and also the 10 times the px squared. So the 10 times the p squared x squared from there. That's it. That's the only, that's the only two things. And so we know that the coefficient of that is 95. So we know, so if we factor out 5 minus 10 p squared um, uh, plus, sorry, x squared, we know that this equals 95. So we get 5 plus 10 p squared equals 95. Take a 5 over, we get 90. Divide by 10, we get 9. And then we get p equals plus or minus 3. But it's a positive constant, so p is 3. And that's that. So we did five binomial expansion questions there. Um, hope you found that useful. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. And if you do find this valuable and you want to chip in a few dollars every month, help out your boy, make more content, improve the content, all that good stuff so we can make an amazing platform for people in the future and now to do amazing in the exams, support me on Patreon. Chuck, chuck a couple dollars there every month. But anyway, I will see you later.